Hey yo, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Now, apologies that I'm ranting at you because I'm not angry at you guys. It's Sharon, the sneaky little spasmoid Sharon, duplicitous little bigot who I'm angry at. Oh, disgrace like and, and the woman who I went on multiple dates with last week, the woman who had given me hope that I was going to have a relationship and that everything was going really well, right? has been bothering me today. She's texted me twice despite me asking for her not to contact me when I left her after a racist homophobic outburst. I said I wanted nothing more to do with her. Just leave me alone, right? Text me twice and I didn't reply and she's just turned up at my house. Just turned up and left me no choice. I went out there, I opened the door, just babbling away at me, straight away babbling away at me, right? Making it out, right? Not just trying to justify her views, making it out like I'm wrong about it. Like, I've got the wrong end of the stick. Not that her, who's stuck in the bloody stone ages, like it was me who was wrong. What did she say? She said, you'd understand better. Your views would be more informed if you came along to my church. A church? She'd mentioned nothing about being bloody religious before. It's obvious to dishonest to keep that hidden. That If I'd known she was bloody delusional like that, I would have had nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. I'd go along to a church with a bunch of cunty little Catholics and have them lecture me about what's right and wrong. You can't help the way you're born. That's why I got so mad about everyone tic tac in me. Can't bloody help it. You can't help it if you're a bloke who's born who prefers bloody willies than minge. You can't help it if you're born black or white or Arabic or what. You just can't. It's just when you're born the way you're born. When you bloody go to a church and have a load of old farts lecture me about it. Oh, and I'm not saying that there's no God. I don't know. There might be a God. It might be an alien. It might be the same thing with a different bloody name. I don't know. But I'll tell you what it's probably not. It's probably not Jesus, some long-haired hippie layabout. You know, hundreds of years ago, it sounds like a hippie to me. Cut your hair. Get a job. Stop taking acid and claiming you're the son of God. It's ridiculous, my bloody ass son of God. Ah, the Catholic bloody church. Like, I'm going to go and listen to them. Most evil institution in the bloody world. They've got millions of secret archives. There's secret Vatican secret library. Google it. Google it. They've got miles of secret documents. Historically, some of the most important documents in the world. If your religion is that bloody good, why aren't we allowed to look at them? Why are they bloody secret? Why can't you be questioned, you secret little spasmoids? Because you know it won't stand up to scrutiny. It makes me so cross. It's fine for you to have a view, but stop pushing it on other people and telling they're wrong because they don't share your view. You're disgraceful. Oh, even my mum, I had to slam the door in her face in the end. Took her ages to leave my bloody door set. My neighbours would have heard. Uh, even my mum, and she's desperate for me to get a girlfriend and move out. Even she said, you had a near escape there, son. Uh, even she knows. Even she bloody knows that's saying something, isn't it? If she comes back, there will be massive ramifications. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna be pee in a pot. No, 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 I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna wee in a bloody wok repeatedly till it's full. I'm gonna keep that pee filled wok next to my bedroom window. And if she comes to my front door, it's going out the window all over her hair. Worst thing is, she still looks bloody gorgeous. I hate the way that a woman can be disgraceful out of her mouth but still look gorgeous. I just. Ugh, just Desperate for bloody boom boom is the issue. It's messing with my head. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to rant, that's it. I'm going to out of my system and I'm done. No, no, it's not done. It's not done. No, it's not more ranting. I've got to say something. I can't remember where I saw it, but one of my fans, one of my best fans, my friends, April, has lost her dog very recently. Um, I remember when I lost our childhood dog. I was devastated. I'm so sorry for you, April. I'm probably not in the best frame of mind to give you advice, seeing as I'm really triggered, but... My heart goes out to you. Um, the only advice I can give you is to process your grief. Let yourself feel it. You know, a, a dog that you've grown up with is like a friend. It's like a friend. So if you feel really sad, let yourself be sad. Let yourself cry. Grieve it like you would a friend. You know, feel your emotions. They pass quicker. It's what I do with my anger. It's the only thing I can say to you, and I hope you're okay. Um, and Sharon, well, she won't see this. She doesn't even know me YouTuber. But I hope she comes back now so I can pour piss on her bloody head.